This is Joseph Ange here, here on Solano College Sports Network, uh, Solano College Net Studio Network. I am here today with Damon Lewis. How are you doing, Damon? I'm good. How about you? I'm pretty good. So, Damon, this is your second year on varsity. How are you feeling this year? Go take on Napa in two weeks. I'm feeling pretty good. We, uh, we actually changed up our schedule this year for our non-league games. So it kind of prepared us with the tough competition we got. We got a young team, but, you know, we're developing, getting used to it. And I think we should be pretty good heading into league. Really a young team. They've been together since Bengals, which was Pee Wee football. Damon, tell me the transition that came from going from a freshman to varsity just as a sophomore. Speed, that's basically the whole thing. Speed and then size, that's, that's never going to, that's always going to affect me. I'm always the smallest on the field, but I'm used to it now. But speed was the biggest thing. Jumping from freshman to varsity, everything is faster. You know, I thought I was fast, but then once when I hit the field, I was in for a shock. <laughs> speed, you have a ton of it with 177.2 yards per game and at least averaging two touchdowns a game. Tell me, what do you do to make yourself so athletic and more mobile in the po um, bursting through that hole? Well, it's just, <laughs> just hard work. You know, I practice it every day, practice full speed, and then when it's time for game time, I'm used to it. And then I uh, got to give credit to my old line. They, they're, doing, they're doing a perfect job opening up holes. Once I get through the first level, then it's me from there, and then it's, it's, it's good. At least averaging one 80-yard game per game as I noticed in all your highlight clips. Damon, when I was at Wilseywood, we had a saying, family first. Do you feel this uh, your team is this close as a family? Yes, I think we do. You know, we've grown up. We've grown up since, like you said, Bengals. And then even with the people, the new people now, we developed a great relationship with them. And we still have the same saying now, you know, every practice, family first. And then we just keep carrying on game after game, family first. Because that's basically what the whole game is all about. Without, fam without um, treating your team like a family, it's not going to go well. So you got to have that chemistry. Tell me your relationship with Marcus, your quarterback. Well, it's only my second year playing with him, but it's great. You know, I love that kid. He he's, he's pretty good. And uh, I give him the nickname Johnny Menzel because that's what he <laughs> plays like. He's a risk taker, but he pays off. And then uh, what, what about I say about him, Marky? <laughs> He he's just he's just good, you know. And I've developed a good relationship with them throughout school. I'm all, I've always used to be playing against them. He's always used to be cross town rivals at the back of the Bulldogs. But then when he came to Wood, never got to see him really play. Uh, I mean, as a teammate. Mm -hmm. But then once he started throwing the balls, like wow, this kid's good, you know. And then just developed a great friendship with them ever since then. You say he's like Johnny Manziel. Who do you think you are like in the NFL? I say Le'Veon Bell because you're such a good guy. You can stay in the backfield and then burst out through the hole with just great speed. Well, everybody gives me the nickname of Darren Sproul, so I kind of just go with the you know short five, five four, five six. You know, great speed, and then yeah. All right, thank you, Damon, for joining us here today in Salon College Sports Network Studio on Think TV Channel Twenty Eight.